Dr. Kim Hamming from the Falls Road Animal Hospital is here to answer your pet questions. And this is Dobby. This is Dobby. So this cute. is Dobby. Dobby, the little house elf. Aww. Wendy, our receptionist at Falls Road Animal Hospital, this dog came into the clinic, little puppy with a broken leg. She adopted it, and now it's her little dog. Let's and, put it down here. Can you can walk can, still can, with that leg. Yeah, she walks fine now. Come here. Whoops. Oh, come here, Dobby. Yep. She's a happy little thing. She's going to. She's cute. Yeah, what kind boy, of dog she's, is she? Uh, she's, in, she's in any kind you want it to be. Oh, you just cute. wish it and it'll be there. All right. Yeah, okay. She's a, she's a something. We have to get to the questions, okay? Yep. Hang out over there, Dobby. Okay. Kate writes, I have a nine-year-old schnauzer, and when I went to dry her paw, dry off her paw, she winced and wouldn't let me touch it. I took a closer look, and it looks like her toenail is cracked. Is there anything I can do to make sure it doesn't get worse or fix it? Okay, the answer is this. That it could be one of the most dangerous things to deal with in a dog because it hurts so much. They're going to bite you out of, get off of my paw. Mm -hmm. Not mean. They're just going to bite you. They can't stand it. It hurts so much. So you probably should get the help of someone who knows how to deal with these toenails. It's really simple to take care of. Mm -hmm. You just have to find the right tool so that you can okay. cut it. And you also put a little muzzle around the mouth so you don't get bit by accident because you can get bit okay. bad. And she said, don't, but don't use super glue or clear nail polish you like know, somebody you told her. You know, you actually can use super glue, but you have got to go to the veterinarian because you know what happens, Lisa, is if you put the super glue on, you, you seal the bacteria underneath. Mm -hmm. And if it's not clean, that can okay. be it. All right, we have to get problem. to the next question. Okay. The Von Tran family says we have a five-year-old female chihuahua. She continually goes to the bathroom in our house despite how frequently we take her outside to go. We just can't seem to figure out why she constantly goes in the house. Do you think we should take her to training or is she too old and set in her ways? Okay, that sounds like a shout out to the Von Tran family. <laughs> but, but I'll tell you, house training is house training and chihuahuas are hard to house train because they're so tiny. You know, a house is almost like a yard to them. So you have to get a very, very small cage and you have to go through the, the house training technique. Mark Katz has a house training book. It costs $2. Okay. $2. Mark Katz. House training, I would get it. And if you All don't right. know where to get it, call me at the animal hospital. Okay, we just got a new okay. puppy. Is it safe to let her sleep in our bed? Wow, I, it, it's perfectly safe. I, I let my dog sleep in my bed. I do. It's, it's probably not the smartest thing in the world, but you know, particularly when it's wet outside because mm -hmm. they come back in the bed and they just, you know, just make your bed soak. But yeah, it's perfectly fine. But you want to make sure the dog doesn't have worms and or ticks. Flea, and ticks and fleas. Ticks and fleas are a disaster. And there are great products to stop fleas and ticks out there right now. Great okay. products. Provecto is a fabulous product. All right. Thank yep. you. Thank All you, right. Dobby. Yeah, Dobby.